Hi. Hi. Come on in. Come on. Get in here. It's hotter than Hades outside. Another day going to be about 111 today down here in uh, Midwest Arizona. I hope wherever you are, you're staying cool and comfortable. Today, I have more Timu for you. However, this is not your typical Timu products. This is another presentation and another auction on behalf of Sadie. These are blinged out jewelry pieces where every single piece either has stones or a setting or hooks or something that came from Timu. So I have incorporated Timu into my jewelry business, which is Boku Jewelry Designs. And Boku stands for beautiful necks. Um, and for me, that includes the ears, the necks, and in some cases, bracelets, pins, brooches, pendants, yeah, uh, charm bracelets. I offer a whole bunch of everything. Anyway, today is an auction to benefit our CD girl. Uh, for those of you who have been here before, you know where you are. For those of you that are new, welcome. This is Connie's Little Corner, and yes, that makes me Connie. I am also the owner, designer, and creator for Boku Jewelry Designs. If you are new, you can go down below and grab my link. That will get you the app where you can download to start participating with Timu. It'll get you a $100 coupon bundle for future purchases, 30% off your first order, and actually a couple of free items and little extra surprise bonuses that I'm not going to tell you about. You're just going to have to download the app and find out, right? <laughs> okay, um, let's start off the auction recap from last Wednesday. Big success. I do have to tweak this auction a little bit because I had been given some misinformation by the post office. Um, but I'm still going to try to keep everything very fair and very reasonable. Um, there's only one person who hasn't resolved her bid Um she knows who she is, and I'm not going to put her on the spot, obviously. You know, if things come up for people. I get that, and it might take a little bit longer, and that's okay. Um, I just try to keep in communication with everybody. So what we're going to do today, this is auction number two on behalf of Sadie. Again, our goal is to raise $100 uh, net to go into her account for her end-of-life expenses. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. There's not going to be any minimum bid. Again, I'm not going to set the prices. You guys will decide what you want to bid. This is a true auction in that sense, other than yeah, there's no minimum. If you want to bid a dollar on something or $2, $3, regardless of what it costs me to make or how much is into it, that's fine. Everything is appreciated. I'm going to tweak it a little bit in a couple of different ways. Shipping within the continental United States will be $5 per order not per item so i don't care if you order if you bid and you win bids on three four five six seven items and you live in the continental united states there'll be a five dollar shipping fee any place outside the continental u.s whether it's hawaii guam puerto rico the united kingdom italy france wherever you might live canada even i'm sorry shipping will be ten dollars per order. Um, and that's not even the full cost to ship internationally. So that's just a portion. I will bear a portion. And what I'm asking is that if you live internationally, so to speak, that you contribute part of what it costs for the shipping. Um, now, I will still be doing um, instant wins. Anybody who has who places an order of $10 or more will uh, a bid excuse me anyone who places a bid on an item of ten dollars or more that is an instant win that is your item all right and then we just add up all your items to determine whether you have shipping or not to not have shipping your total order has to be fifty dollars or more and i know some of you did that in the last auction and a lot of you got free shipping um even outside the country, even internationally. So wherever you live, if your total order, uh, all your bids combined, if it comes up to $50, I don't care if you live on the moon <laughs> with my mother, <laughs> you're going to get free shipping, okay? 
So I will put this all in the video description for you. But again, continental United States, $5 shipping per order, not per item. Outside of the United States, $10 shipping per order, not per item. Doesn't matter how big or how small or how many items. Anyone who does a $10 bid on one single item, that's an instant win of that item. Nobody can outbid you. It's yours. Um, and anyone who spends $50 and wins $50 worth of bids will have free shipping regardless of where you live. So that's the summary. Payment, we've made it a little bit easier. Mom and I have had some discussions and I actually talked to, well, not talked to, but emailed with some of you, some of my viewers. So the easiest way to make payment, no matter where you live, you can use a debit or a credit card or a bank account, is to go to Sadie's GoFundMe page, which I will put the link down below in the description. Um, or you can use PayPal, send money to friends and family. And I specify friends and family. If you send it any other way, they're going to take a fee. And that means I will not get the full amount of your bids and therefore your items won't ship because technically you're not paid in full. They're taking a fee. Um, yes, the GoFundMe takes a fee, but you know what? It's pennies. Literally on a $50 payment, I lose two cents in handling fees at the GoFundMe. So GoFundMe is our preferred method. And it's a good way to track for you because you'll get, you know, you're going through a verified source not everybody has PayPal. Okay. How are you ready now? Now, two videos today. This is the first one. This first one has, I believe, 22 items. This is all bling. And today we're going to do red, brown, mixed crystals, purple, blue, and black. That's a lot, right? And in the second video, which I'm going to also try to get out today, I think it has 27 items in it, and that's going to be green, crystals and pearls mixed together, pink, and of course, the clear rhinestone crystal crystals, and that I have the most of. Um, so that way you know what's coming up in each video, all right? So let's start with the first one. Everything is item by number, and I will put the items up on the screen for you. This is item number one. We're going to start with red my favorite color. But I'm not wearing red today. I'm wearing orange today, right? All right. So this, <laughs> lots of crystals. Look at that. Bright red. These are like, I know they don't look it, but they're actually fire engine red. Really, really bright. Lots of crystals on the cones and lots of crystals. These are posts because they're a little bit heavier. Oh, let me get my measuring tape here. Good thing I kept that handy, right? Stuck. I'm going to have one of those days again, I'm telling you. So from where the post goes into your ear to the bottom, you'll see they are not quite two inches long. They're about an inch and three quarters. Um, it's a nice, comfortable length. It's actually shorter than my candy corn that I'm wearing. So absolutely gorgeous, bright red very blingy these typically there's the price tag they typically sell for 14 dollars. but again you bid whatever you want to bid on these and the highest bid wins so that's item number one item number two these are all going to be red until i tell you otherwise <laughs> item number two this is whoa stop spinning around on me now these are red turquoise. And yes, turquoise comes in other colors. It comes in reds, purples, variegateds. Uh, the typical color that most people are used to the turquoise, which is like the greenish teal. But this is red turquoise stone. And if you look around it, you'll see it has hearts. And in between each heart, it has a crystal. And the crystals go all the way around on both of them in between. And again, these are bright red. Very deep, rich red. I know they're looking a little orangey, and I'm not sure why, but not too big. These are on hooks because they're not heavy. And measurements from where the hook goes into the ear to the bottom is, again, 
less than two inches. Not a very long earring whatsoever. And only moderate in weight. Um, they're light enough to stay on hooks. If something is on a hook, that's a good way for you to know, well, at least for me, if something's on a hook, that's a good way for you to know that it's light enough and it's not going to pull, tear, or rip on, on the hole that's in your ear. Item number three. You know, I had a hard time picking what to put into these auctions because I just have so much. And because I haven't done any jewelry shows in a while, I had a lot made and ready for jewelry shows. These are posts. And these are big crystal studs. These are studs that are equivalent to if you had a one carat stud in your ear. And they have chains hanging down with our red. Little gold balls with red crystal chains. The chains are attached to the back so that when you put the back on, that's when you put it on. That gives you an option if you don't want to use this back and you just want to have a stud. There's, it. There's how it looks when you take the back off. Use any one of your other earring backs and then just wear these studs so that you can wear these in your second hole as studs or, well, or anywhere on your ear as studs. Or if you use these backs, you'll have these nice red crystal chains. Again, all my jewelry is hypoallergenic. Um, I can't even handle metals that have nickel or um, cadmium in them. So I make sure that if I can't wear it, I don't make it. Therefore, I won't sell it. Item number four. This is the only pair I made of these. My supplier that I use, every once in a while, they'll throw me uh, gift items for shopping so much. And they threw me these loops. And these are little brown loops. And what I did is I just studded them with little crystal studs on the two bottom loops. I left the top loops plain. These are posts, and I did put the bigger backs on them for support. And then I just used golden links to make them look a little bit like ropes to connect them instead of using a standard connection. So this is the only pair. I've been doing this now for more than a dozen years. And this is the only pair like this I have ever made. So this is a one-of-a-kind item. Very much, well, they're all pretty much one-of-a-kind items because I haven't made multiples. But this is truly, this is what, this is a rare one. <laughs> I would have never thought to um, buy the brown hoops and if they had not sent them to me and I could experiment and make them. So that's item number four. Oh, yeah, we're into brown. So that, that was the only brown. We left red. We hit brown. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I'm just going through here. All right, now we're into mixed, gem, uh, mixed gemstones. And we're going to start with um, the teeny tiniest pair. This is the item number five. Now. Now, as you can tell, it's not for me, my cost is not just the settings, the backs, the stones, but it's also the cards I put everything on, the plastic I put them in, and my time. Um, but I still think I try to keep these very reasonable. This is a tiny little set of studs, and this is in gray and burgundy. So you've got a darker gray, a lighter gray, you can see their crystals, and then the burgundy stone. And these are just little studs, little posts, very teeny tiny, but still just enough. Um, so they hang this way. In other words, the post is behind this one, and these two hang down. But you can set this anywhere on your ear if you want it to sit in your earlobe differently. So we have one that's a more of a light crystal gray, a darker, almost a gunmetal gray. And then the wine color. That's a, that's a good word for it, is wine. Yeah, because it's not really a red. It's a burgundy. So this is item number five. What do you think so far? Very different from what you saw in the last video. Item number six. 
I wanted to keep these for myself. And I said, I know somebody's going to want these. These are a little bit heavier, but they're still okay to be on wires. This is again with the two-tone grays and these have more of a dark fuchsia color. Can you see that? how that color is? Look at the reflection. Oh my gosh, the glitter. These are all crystal. Look at those crystals. And that's a pinkish purple. It's not a purple purple. I want you to be aware that that is a fuchsia color. It's more on the hot pink, but it's like a deep hot pink. And then the rest of the stones are the gray and the gunmetal crystals. But look at that glitter. Measurements on this from the where it goes into the ear to the bottom, you're just hitting two inches. Solid metal back. These are all good settings. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm almost hoping nobody bids on them so that I can keep them. That's a problem when I make earrings. Sometimes I make earrings that I know I would wear. And other times I make earrings with specific people in mind and not for me. So that's item number six. Pinkish purple and gray. Mixed. These are mixed gemstones. And item number seven, which is another mixed gems. These are very light. These are on a different kind of lever back done in gold, but look at the crystals. You've got five different colored crystals hanging on each one. You've got, let's see, clear, pink, olive, purple, and amber. So clear on the top, pink, olive, a light purple, and then the amber on the bottom. And they're on golden chains, very, very lightweight, very lightweight. Very pretty. And this, whoops, wrong end. Where's, what did I do? Hello. Okay. <laughs> From ear hole to the bottom, you are talking almost two and a half inches. Just about, well, maybe two and a quarter. You're talking two and a quarter inches. So not super long, extremely lightweight, but very, very blingy, very bright, very crystal. Again, another pair I'd probably like to keep. But don't let that stop you from bidding. <laughs> because if I can sell these to help our Sadie girl, that's what's going to happen, right? Okay. Ah, hold on. I need a drink. All right. Now we are into purple. I have two purple items. This is item number eight. And the reason I gave you the colors in the beginning of the video is because I know certain people are always looking for certain colors. Um, so that's why I've divided these up by color today to make it easier. These are purple teardrops and these are a really dark royal purple and they have crystals on the top. They have eight rhinestones on the very top making a cone for the purple earring. Really, really beautiful. Love these. Nice, dark, rich purple. Beautiful from behind as well. Not too big. Inch and a half. That's all they are. It's just an inch and a half long. Really nice. Very glittery. Really, really nice. Levi has to go out. That's item number eight, the purple teardrops. You know, you don't have to have a special occasion to be wearing bling. I think that changed a long time ago where everybody just wears what makes them feel good. This is item number nine, and this is a light lavender, what I call filigree. And these are in gold. And this is a very light lavender teardrop crystal. And as you can see, it lets the light shine through it. So you get a really gorgeous, but it is surrounded by multiple rows of crystals. You've got the outer band of crystals here, which are individual. And then you've got a solid band of crystals right around the stone itself. 
So everything is either crystals or that beautiful purple gem in the center. Really nice. From the ear down, you're talking an inch and a half. Super lightweight, on hooks, gorgeous. Item number nine. If you do have any questions, queries, posers, comments, stick them down below. Um, in case I didn't tell you when you do bid on an item, I need you to bid on the comment section of the video. In that way, everyone can see what items have already been instant wins, what items have been bid on, um, so that, you know, you're not, Last auction, I had several people bid on the same item because they were sending me emails and I had to respond and let them know that another person had an instant win on this um, and that they can see the instant win in the um, in the comment section. So when you do your bids, please make sure you do them in the comment section and not by email. All right. This is item number 10. We are now into the blues and teals, that kind of shades. This is a dark teal crystals with moons. Dark teal crystals on both earrings. A couple of dark teal crystals in the moon. And then clear crystals at the bottom and at the top, also in the moon. So you've got a mix of clear and teal and dark teal teardrops. And these are not heavy. You'd think they would be being this size, but they are not heavy. They are on hooks. This length, we're looking at about two and a quarter inches from where it goes into your ear to the bottom of the earring. Let me use that one. About not quite two and a half. So I'd say two and a quarter inches in length. Absolutely gorgeous. Moons with dark teal. Item number 10. Those are, those are what I call keepers too. Item number 11. This is more of an aquamarine color, which is a birthstone for March. Keep that in mind. Some of these, you know, they'll be birthstones. Well, not the dark teal. I don't think that's a birthstone for anything, but Lot that in birthstone colors. Bling bling, bright, beautiful aquamarine surrounded by decent sized crystals. And the crystals are variegated. They go from smaller ones towards the top to bigger ones down here on the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous pair of earrings. Nice silver setting, stainless steel hooks. Again, hypoallergenic hooks. Measurements on this one from top to bottom, only about a little, barely over an inch and a half, just barely over an inch and a half. So again, item number 11, the aquamarine teardrops. Great gift idea if someone has like a birthday in March. And yes, I know March has passed and we've all had our birthdays, but Christmas is coming. And maybe there's anniversaries or something else that's coming up. Um, I tell everyone, especially when I make these and I do my jewelry shows, I do an event, I let everyone know these are not necessarily just for you. Who in your family, your friends, or who in your circle um, is this something that you might want to gift an item to? Item number 12, these are the heartbeat earrings. And these are sterling silver. So these you will have to either polish from time to time or drop them uh, quickly into like tarnex. It won't hurt the gemstone that's on them whatsoever. So these are heartbeats. See if I can turn. Oops, hold on. Let me grab this one. So you can see how it's a heartbeat with a heart. And on the bottom, it has the sky blue crystal. Could pass as an aquamarine crystal, but it's a little bit deeper, so it's a sky blue. So these are heartbeats. And again, these are sterling silver, so plan on expecting them to darken as they get oxidation. Hold on. 
Okay. Um, but the light does not oxidize them. Air does. So as long as you keep them in sealed, like a little Ziploc container or a regular jewelry case where it's not exposed to the air, it has to be sealed, then they won't oxidize. But, yep. Item number 12, little heartbeats. Couple more blues. Item number 13. These are done in, with sky blue crystals. These are what I call my young lady earrings. These are very, very tiny, very delicate. Three sky blue crystals in the center of an open filigree. Done in gold. Nice hooks. Very, very lightweight. This filigree weighs nothing. Seriously, you won't even know they're in your ears. That's why I say they're perfect for young ladies, um, like maybe eight years old, preteens, that kind of thing, if they have their ears done. The length on these is only about an inch and a half, but very, very nice. Very, a very simple, very basic type earring. And that's item number 13. 13 is my lucky number. A lot of people say Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. Well, that's because of an event that happened hundreds of years ago on Friday the 13th. There was a massacre. However, for me, I'm always one that looks at the silver lining and things. And Friday the 13th has always brought me good luck. Um, something good always happens on that day. Even though someone would say, oh, that's a terrible thing. I'll say, yes, but, and I'll point out the good thing. So it is what you make it, right? All right, the last one, the blue, this is number 14. These are in rose gold plated with navy blue, deep, rich navy blue stones and a crystal center stone. Very, very different. Rose gold on these. Even the earpieces are rose gold. Everything is rose gold. Not very heavy. Very, very light. Just as attractive from the back. Measurements on these is inch and a half, roughly. If I go by this one right there, inch and three quarters. About an inch and three quarters. So not, not real big, not real heavy. But if you like navy blue, if you have something that's navy blue and you don't have any earrings to go with it, try to mix it up. You can see we have a lot of colors here today. So far we've done red, brown, mixed stones, purples, and now blues. Um, got more blues. Oh, sorry. Thought I was done with the blues. All right. I've got three more blues. We're not done with the blue yet. Item number 15. I had them in, I have them hidden in a little row under here. <laughs> but I had them out of order. Oh, that navy blue was item number 14. This is item number 15. Double hoops with sky blue crystals. Double hoops. And the smaller hoop has the sky blue color crystals on both earrings. These again, these are lever backs. A lot of people like the lever backs because they think that they're easier to get in and clip down, and that's fine. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. It's nice sky blue. There's a little bit of a design, as you can see, in the hoop itself. You've got a little bit of cut in there to give it that little extra glitter. Very nice piece. Size-wise, we are looking at... I don't know why I can never find the end of this thing when I put it down. It always gets tangled. From where it goes into the ear to the bottom of the longest hoop, we're talking, oh, I would say an inch, a little bit more than an inch and a half, right about to there. So that's about what, that's about what we're looking at, is about an inch, oh, maybe an inch and three quarters to this one. Yeah, inch and a half to inch and three quarters. Not real big, not real heavy, and just a little bit of bling on the hoops. That way it shows on each ear, no matter which side you wear it on, you've got your blue showing out. So that again is item number 15. 
And you notice here too, there's a lot of mixed metals. There's golds, there's silver, there's rose golds, there's uh, the brown, and I believe there may be some gun metal either in this or in the next one. Item number 16, these are floating crystals. They're called floating crystals. This is fun. <laughs> Not. <sighs> these are two hoops of crystals with a dark teal round stone literally floating and suspended in the bottom of the loop. Not real thick, very, very thin. Wires, very different. Not too big, not too big, not too small, just right. Okay, Goldilocks, two inches in length, almost exactly hitting two inches in length. All crystals, all bling, dark teal. I do think I may have a pair of these in another color. Not sure if I still have them or if I sold them at one of my shows. And the last blue one, and I promise this is the last blue one. This is item number 17. And item number 17 is the same as item number 15. Item number 15 has the very light blue. And item number 17 has black crystals. Dark navy blue, almost black. Yeah, they are black. All right, we're into black now. Sorry. <laughs> it all runs together under here. Item number 17 is black crystals. Again, exactly the same as the other item that had the light blue, but these have black. Black and gold is, is like a timeless combination. I get so many orders that people want black with gold. Um, so I make a mixture of black with gold and black with silver so that hopefully I can meet the requests. So item number 17, double hoops with black crystals. This is all black from here on out. Item number 18. I'm not doing very good letting you know the colors ahead of time, am I? Sorry. That's what happens when mama's not here to help me, right? I need the mama. <laughs> I'm not the mama. Item number 18. I call these cattails. These are posts. Hold on, I get to push the backs on them so I don't lose the backs. These again are black and gold, and I call these the cattails. Black acrylic centers with a giant row of black crystals running down the sides. Golden on top. Black and gold loaded with good size crystals. Measurements. These are posts. Measurements on these. From where the post goes into the ear, I'll put it in the back, to the bottom of the tail is about an inch and a half. That's all you're looking at is about an inch and a half. So they're not really long whatsoever, but very, very stunning. I think that's the word that I would use for these. This is something that, you know, if you have, especially like if you have shorter hair or if you have your hair up, this is something that will go beautiful with that little black dress. Every, doesn't everybody have a little black dress? You know, I never had a little black dress until I was in my 50s. Then I got a little black dress. <laughs> All right, that was number 18. Item number 19. Now, these are geometrically, what's the word? Complement each other, but they're not exact in their designs. These, again, are the lever backs, but look at these little spheres, and they are the spheres are different. You can see this one is a little more elongated. It's got a black stone in the bottom. This one is a little shorter, which I have to dust because the stone is getting dusty. Excuse me. <laughs> but the spheres are all crystals. Can you see that? All the way down on this side, all the way around, right? 
all the way around the back side of it. The crystals literally surround the stone. So on both of these, you've got the bright, clear crystals with the little globe, the little planet or whatever you want to call it, holding it. And they match, but they're abstract, geometrically abstract. A little bit different. If you're somebody who has to have matchy-matchy, these are not for you. <laughs> but if you like to step outside the box, these are perfect. Little globes. So the longest one, which will take this one, is just shy of being two inches long. An inch and three quarters, almost exactly an inch and three quarters. Again, very lightweight on leverbacks. Well, these are your little floating planets. I like things geometrically opposed to each other. I like the abstract because it's almost like wearing two different pairs of earrings. Somebody standing on one side of you is going to see one thing. Somebody standing on the other side is going to see something different. Uh, you'll see that I wear a lot of earrings like that that are very abstract. All right, we got a few more. Item number 20. These are glittering at me right through the bag. Item number 20. Again, black with crystals. Black gemstones. Crystals all the way around. In between, on both loops, every part that doesn't have a black crystal has a clear crystal. Very, very lightweight, very blingy. Look at that. Extremely glittery. Lightweight, on wires. And the length that we're looking at is two inches. Just two inches. So two inches is, compared to what I have on, let me take this off. If I were to hang these next to each other, they're not as long as what I'm wearing. They're not quite as long as what I'm wearing. They're just a little bit shorter. So if that'll give you an idea, they won't touch your shoulder and they will stand out. Look at all that shine. Wait till you see the next video with all the crystal, 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 crystals. <laughs> these are the mixed crystals with that have colors in them. So that's item number 20. Item number 21, we're going into a little bit smaller post. These are very tiny. Now, there's been some debate on this. Mama says these are so dark blue that they're black. And I say they're black but almost look blue. So you'll have to decide. If these are black crystals or, you know, it looks like a hint of blue in them. If you look at that way towards the light, it looks like a super, super dark pair of blue ones, but they could be black. I have so many crystals and so many gems from when I made these. I don't remember what bin I pulled them from. I'm sorry. So they're either really, really dark blue. If I hold it this way, you can see a tint of blue, but any other way they look black. Um, and then you've got the clear white teardrop crystal on the very top. And you've got little tiny crystal in the very, very center between the two pieces. So teardrop, teardrop, and crystal. So every spot. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that I actually think these are more of a navy than a black. Uh, I'm going to refer to them as the navy teardrops. If I were to put them next to something that's black, you still can't really tell the difference between them. Don't know. I know. I made them. I should know. Don't know. <laughs> that's item number 21, the questionable color to your folks. And last but not least, um, now mom suggested that I put these on a reserve bid because these are a $20 pair of earrings. I, I sell these for $20 um, simply because of the amount of work and the amount of stones in them. These are posts. These are gunmetal black, 
and these are full of crystals. On the inside of the loop, can you see the exposed part up the back has a little bit of crystal in it on the inside. And then on the outside, you've got all these gorgeous black crystals, round, oblong, going in different directions, all the way down to the bottom as far as you would be able to see. So the very back does not have crystals on them, but what you see on the inside and what you get on the outside. And these are heavy, that's why I put them on posts. I was going to do them with white crystals or clear crystals, but I did them with the black crystals. Very, very nice. They're big. They are heavy. That's why they are on posts. So if you have a torn, stretched out, or weak ear uh, hole in your ear, these would not be recommended for you. And as far as the length goes, they're an inch and three quarters. But look at that glitter. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So that's item number 22. And no, I did not put a reserve bid on it. This is for Sadie and I'm not about to tell anybody what they should be bidding um, in an auction. This is not that kind of an auction. All right. So we've got 22 items. I'm hoping that we can raise $100 out of those 22 items, which hope we can. Um, again, your bids must be placed in the comments. Um, under the video so that everybody can see what item has been bid on and $10 bid will is an automatic $10 or higher is an automatic instant win and it closes the bidding on that item. So if you're looking through and you want, say you want um, item number 22 and somebody's bid $10 on it, it's done. You can't bid on it. They beat you to it. They got the instant win, All right? So it doesn't matter what item, $10 is an instant win. All orders $50 or higher, orders, not items, all orders $50 or higher will get free shipping regardless of where you live. Anything under $50 is $5 shipping in the continental United States and off the continental United States is $10 shipping. Um, payments can be made through Sadie's GoFundMe page, which will be in the links, or they can be paid to PayPal, send to friends and family. I will not accept any bids sent by email. Um, that's not fair. Everybody needs to see so they know what to bid on, right? I ship within uh, two to three business days of receiving the payment. I am headed to the post office this afternoon with three more. Um, everybody else has been shipped out. There's one I'm still waiting to resolve the bid. So yeah, we're all cleaned up from last week. You guys are absolutely amazing. I can't tell you how much. First, I appreciate your open heart. Obviously, you're animal lovers and you a lot of you have shared with me that you've been in the same boat that I'm in right now um, with Sadie. So secondly, I am just extremely flattered that you want to see more of my jewelry, that you asked for the jewelry videos to keep coming. Um, I can do this indefinitely <laughs> because I have so much jewelry. But anyway, stay tuned. Video number two today is going to be coming out with more crystal earrings. Again, video two will cover green crystal with pearls, pink, and crystal crystals. Um, and I'm not going to tell you which one's going to be coming out first. You just have to wait and see. So if you like this, give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it because it's the views that help the channel grow and it's the views that keep the channel monetized so that I can shop at Timu and create these things or shop at Timu and bring you other products because it's it's all Timu. It's just what I happen to do with it, <laughs> right? <laughs> and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And please join us every Sunday for Sunday with Mama. And in a couple of weeks, Mama and I are going to have a surprise uh, for all you guys. So stay tuned, stay hydrated, above all, stay sweet, and I will catch you in just a few minutes.
with another Timu video of jewelry that I created. Bye.